Before today's video, here is a quick uh, statement from my legal representatives, um, these guys, um, about the content of the video today. In the video, you will see painted Napoleonic models, wildly historically inaccurately painted Napoleonic models. In fact, so historically inaccurately painted Napoleonic models, here's a picture of them being attacked by some velociraptors. Uh, I just thought I'd do this um, quick disclaimer just to say that these aren't anywhere near anywhere near historically accurate napoleonic figures enjoy the video hello everybody and welcome back to on point hq and my my winter warmer update well, I say update. I've actually, I've actually completed it. <laughs> I never thought it would be finished this quickly. Um, if you haven't seen this previous video, or if you have seen it, you would have seen that um, my challenge, or what the the challenge I set myself was to, to step radically out of my comfort zone, and rather than paint something bolt action related or World War Two related, I decided to paint some Napoleonics, specifically from this box here. So um, by Perry Miniatures, just some French line infantry, 1812 to 1815. Um, I've had those for, for years. I don't know why I bought them. I, I don't paint Napoleonics. But this time I said, yes, I shall accept the challenge and do something I've never painted before. So I decided to paint these um, and I finished. In fact, I went one better. I say one better, one figure better. I did say I was going to paint four more. I ended up painting five. So not, not exactly a great... Um, increase on my initial challenge but on the screen now will be the finished uh, the finished miniatures now, the way i decided to base these was based on the um the plan that came in the box itself um i, I don't see myself uh, ever gaming with these unless uh, my gaming dynamic changes radically over the next 12 months um so i just thought i'd go with what, what it says in the box which seems to be six figures um per company i think it is and what I've painted is uh, six fusiliers, or a stand of six fusiliers, and a stand of three grenadiers. Um, and I'm quite happy with how they've turned out, considering these are the, the first ever really fully complete Napoleonics I've, uh, I've ever painted. I started three of these last year, um, didn't really complete them completely. So I thought I'd, I'd add these on. Um, but um, yeah, they, they weren't as... as terrifyingly scary to paint as I initially envisaged they would be. Um, most of it was just fixing my own mistakes. <laughs> when you were, when I'm painting World War II stuff, uh, especially, especially Germans, uh, any mistakes are quickly hidden, hidden with um, a bit of ink, um, a bit of wash and some um, some green paint, bish bash bosh jobs are good. Uh, but with these, no, um, any errant splashes of white or blue or red yeah it was taking me a while to, to conceal and i did make loads of mistakes and they're not historically accurate by any stretch of the imagination i just thought i'd uh, just thought i'd throw that one out there and um, they're not i tried to follow the color scheme as best as i could on the um the guy that came with the boxes but ah uh, no <laughs> it's small steps for me at the moment so i just wanted to make I just wanted to see if I could, if I could actually paint bright colours, which is not something I've, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I regularly do. Um, but yeah, I, I've actually surprised myself uh, in how much I actually enjoyed painting these. Um, getting the white down was strangely alien to me. But once I'd, I'd, I'd got two or three, because I batch painted them all, I kind of got into a rhythm. And yeah, there, there was a few mistakes, and they're not, they're not one hundred percent accurate um, or, or neat. In fact, the equipment on the back, that's just not accurate at all, but I'm, I'm not spending my time painting rucksacks because I'm just not that kind of person. Anyway, um, yeah, challenge over, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really quite pleased with myself that I got through. Um, so, with 10 or so days left to go in the month, I'm going to paint some more. <laughs> I'm going to add a, a second base of grenadiers uh, to bring them up to six. That's another four company. And I'm undecided whether to do some um, voltageurs or a strip of command. Um, so standard uh, officer and musician. I'm not not decided yet, but yeah, I'm going to try and do some more by the end of the month. 
Uh, I can't promise they'll be done this as quickly because I, I really want to start my bolt hatch and stuff again. But yeah, that's it. Challenge done, and I'm a pretty happy chap uh, <laughs> at this stage. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really, really made with how they've, they've, um, they've turned out. Uh, really enjoy watching other people's uh, winter warmer videos. Uh, some of them are really entertaining. Um, and yeah, I'm just enjoying seeing um, completed, completed projects and pieces. Um, but I hope you enjoyed um, both my winter warmer videos. Um, it's always good to have a, a painting challenge, isn't it? Um, and like I said, I'm going to be moving on to some more Napoleonic. So another another strange step in the, in my, my my painting direction. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, any comments or questions about these, just leave them in the, uh, the comment section below, and I'll certainly respond to um, all comments and questions. Um, but as always, uh, take care, uh, may your dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.